President, please be seated. Le président, the court and messieurs, is now in session. Nous Before the adjournment, uh, we pause, noticed nous avons uh, that the national lawyer were on her feet. Co cambodgien, what would co you cambodgien like to make? It, uh, what is your comments? Quel est l'objet de votre intervention? Tisrina, thank you, Mr. Tisrina, President, merci, le President, for giving me the opportunity to make comments. I raised my hand before the adjournment because I were, were about to ask for the permission from the president to put questions, two questions to the witness. We knew that uh, our time has already run out, but uh, we would like to ask him about the event when he left S21 and my next question links to his statement après son de that uh, he tried uh, to stop uh, people from torturing him. So I think this will be the two main questions de, I would like to ask. Faire que les the arrêtent, president, as um, the chamber de, has already decided, and we le have indicated clearly that the four Et nous have, avons indiqué uh, que minutes, les quatre groupes disposent de 40 minutes à raison de 10 minutes par the groupe. Since the chamber Puisque notes that the opportunity for questions to be put before Jumai have been grabbed uh, by Le the international lawyers and now that the national lawyer would need to ask only two questions so your request is granted uh, please the floor is yours deux questions que vous souhaitez poser eh bien nous faisons droit à votre Tisrina, demande thank you mr president uh, for once again giving Maître me Tisrina, the opportunity to put questions remercie, to monsieur le président encore jumai good afternoon encore jumai possibilité de poser deux questions My à monsieur question would be Monsieur brief Tomei, and uh, I will mes questions. make them short uh, and we would like to thank you very Ces much for your court. testimony. Question number one is Question number one. During the time when you left S21 it was the event when the Vietnamese troops uh, approached Les uh, vietnamiennes nearly approached S21 and the situation at that time was chaotic le chaos régnait and uh, à ce the guards of S21 tried uh, les to de flee S21 ont essayé de S21 compound du complexe May de S21 you puis je vous demander before you left the Compound, si did you votre départ check du complexe, or see any rooms whether you que vous avez saw uh, that bodies or dans les pièces? Que other prisoners? Could you please avez vu elaborate le further on this? Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner plus d'informations? Thank you, the Réponse. lawyer. Je vous remercie, Before maître. I left. Avant S21 for Am Lang. En direction de Am I Lien. did not inspect Je any room. Uh, I mean the the build the south building. I just left immediately. And uh, sud, after I returned, immediately after my return, I was called to have my photo taken at. Slang. And at that time, I saw a bed. Et là, vu un uh, with 
the dead body, but it's only se seen through the photo, not Mais the real simplement par le biais des uh, j'ai vu les event. photos uh, and de I cela, asked de cette scène mais je ne l'ai pas vu dans la réalité j'ai demandé à Peck ce qu'il en était de la photo and uh, he told me that Et when the Vietnamese dit que came lorsque les Vietnamiens sont arrivés and those prisoners who could not walk uh, was or were shot by the Khmer Rouge and they died instantly on those beds. And having listened to Deutsch, uh, he said that only four prisoners were ultimately killed, but I have counted uh, the dead body, I mean the people who died, there were 14 of them. Thank you, said Ms. Tisrina. Why did not you check Pourquoi in the rooms, did you leave hastily or départ, were you forced to leave the compound? Response. When I was leaving, I did not au moment où je suis parti, je n'ai pas, je ne suis pas allé dans we les pièces vérifier ce qu'il y avait parce que us, on and nous we had en to be walking straight forward into a straight line and we could not even dare turn les uns back. Les autres et nous ne pouvions même pas, Thank you, nous n'avions même pas le droit uncle, de said nous retourner. My second question is. Question. When you were la tortured, question, la suivante, vous avez été torturé, uh, to extract confession, afin de vous arracher, uh, d'arracher vos aveux, the interrogators who interrogated you, les interrogateurs, did they give you the names or? as you or dictate the names uh, uh, to be written in the confession or the names have been written uh, by yourself. Ou est-ce que c'est vous qui avez fourni les noms? Response. Réponse. I'm sorry, I think uh, I may Je need you to repeat the question. Je pense qu'il va falloir que vous me reposiez la question. Tisrina, I will question. try to rephrase the question. Je vais essayer de reformuler ma question. When you were being asked Lorsque or interrogated demandé au cours de, des séances d'interrogatoire in order that you respond uh, and uh, with the names of people who lorsqu'on vous posait des questions behind your network or people who ordered you to dans votre become CIA agent qui se derrière such, such, thing, such thing like that so um, vous, vous were de la the CIA, names given to you to write down in the confession or were the name les noms um, spontaneously votre, uh, brought uh, up by you yourself? Response. They did not même. give me with names. Réponse. They only On asked me to think about the people, my network, and how many people of my associates who joined the CIA and or KGB I was limited CIA, to only confess KGB, to uh, the matter of CIA and KGB, not other matters. And I was not given much time to uh, respond. I had to really respond immediately without delay. And at that time, uh, I did not know whether other people implicated me in their confession si that led to my arrest because I did si not make any mistake that uh, led to my arrest at all. So I also wanted to know how many KGB uh, or CIA agents still remain, the question that I have already asked to Deutsch because uh, uh, the question seemed to be uh, thoroughly inflicted on us to 
get to answer uh, the network of CIA or KGB so that we could survive. And uh, this matter makes me want to ask Deutsche once again how many KGB or CIA agents uh, are still, uh, uh, or still remain. And uh, when people were accused of being enemies, how many enemies are there? Have they all been smashed? Or are they still living? So who actually created uh, uh, the mechanism to uh, ask questions or interrogate uh, prisoners to tell them about the CIA and or KGB networks. I have heard that people were implicated uh, either CIA or KGB agents, although they have committed or maybe made a mistake by breaking a pin or committed other uh, wrongdoing, then they would be presumed as uh, CIA or KGB. Et que, en conséquence, on supposait que ces personnes Tisrina, faisaient partie de la CIA ou du KGB. After having responded uh, and implicated people in the confession, have you realized uh, the fates of those people you have implicated? Est-ce que vous avez euh, imaginé ce qui était advenu? Est-ce que vous avez pensé ce qui était advenu à ces personnes? I have not uh, observed uh, whether the people I have implicated in the, in the confession would be arrested because the time for confession was rather short. Uh, it was four month period, so I did not see them. This Rina, thank you very much, Uncle Jumai. I have no further question, and thank you, Mr. President. The President, I would like to le président give the floor to the defense counsel to put questions to the witness if they would wish to do so. Mr. Mr. Counsel, what question thank you, Mr. President, la civile, and uh, the chamber. Je vous I would like to ask a question to the witness. Poser une question you à la said civile. that the uh, two children went to look for gruel. Could you identify whether they were boys or girls? Uh, yes, they were boys. Uh, you can identify whether they were boys or girls. You can identify Elder brother was about three years old, uh, and they would go there to find uh, cruel for eating. Thank you, um, said Mr. Kass. What you said that after you asked question to the cook, uh, who told you that the children belong to Jane on and the person still, uh, one of them still survives among the two. Uh, my next question, was the cook, the female cook, uh, you called alias So. Do you know where she lives now? So, alias So. Savez-vous où ces personnes vivent maintenant? I don't réponse. think I know where she Je lives. I am searching for the information of Comrade vit. So, because uh, we had uh, worked together closely so. near the kitchen, and Car I would like to know where she is also. À proximité de Thank you. The third question um, said, uh, du côté de la Mr. Cassabot, at the workshop where you suivante. were working, did you uh, have a hammock? Uh, Disposez-vous d'un Mac? The uh, witness, I did not uh, have a je hammock. Réponse, je n'avais pas de hammock. Mr. Castlewood, thank you. Maître Castlewood, je vous remercie. The reason I asked that question because uh, some people told us that the two children would uh, sleep. Uh, on their Dormez hammock there. Uh, the fourth hammock. question, have you, uh, uh, did you 
um, organize or put uh, the instruments in the workshop in order or were they scattered Classé. around Est-ce que lorsque vous étiez everywhere? à l'atelier, vous vous ordonniez les instruments de travail the ou est-ce que vous les laissiez not, uh, was ici not well à réponse It was a mess. L'atelier n'était pas bien rangé c'était un, un peu un bazar the pan uh, used for cooking gruel would be left les at one place while the machines uh, the sewing machines that i got fixed would be lying disorderly pour réparer thank you said um, mr caswood question number five when the khmer soldiers shot your wife dead and your two months old son uh, did you notice that your son were, uh, got, get killed when your wife was dying response at that time uh, she was carrying the baby and I think that uh, when the mother died, uh, they would also kill uh, the baby because it is the nature of the Khmer Rouge. Thank you, said Mr. Castlewood. Last question. When you were introduced Lorsque to the reenactment at S21 and when Dutch made the statement to apologize to all the victims, I remember that you said uh, you were waiting for this uh, phrase for almost 30 years. Do you still recall having said that? Avoir dit ça encore aujourd'hui? Response, Mr. Lawyer. I réponse. do remember having said that. Mr. Caswell, thank you for recalling the Question, statement. Uh, could you please uh, tell uh, us that you have been waiting for 30 years to hear that word? So can you elaborate uh, further on that uh, phrase? Pouvez-vous nous donner plus d'informations? Pouvez-vous nous faire un commentaire un petit peu plus en détail? Cette, uh, I have been waiting for many years réponse, cela fait to hear the words from Dutch who would say de la de Duke, that disons, because at, uh, at the beginning the, he, he said he was an intellectual, début, he was a teacher, and he said that he would not... Uh, be easily moved by the other, the, the four groups of people. And I thought that he realized that and, and awakened that he had uh, killed people. And I thought that he would not any day say thing, such thing like that. That's why having heard that, I was happy and he shed his tears before me at Tulslang. I told him that at Tulslang, je lui ai dit cela. I would not use a few tear drops to wash away the suffering of the more than million, uh, two million Cambodian people who um, perished uh, during the regime. So the sheds of tears um, would not be able to wash away those suffering. Only the court can help uh, to wash away uh, those uh, suffering. Il ne faut pas utiliser ces quelques larmes pour faire oublier les Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I do not have any more questions. Maître Garçavout, je vous remercie. Je n'ai plus de questions à vous poser. Le Président. Defense Council, the International Defense Council, do you have any questions to be posed to Uncle Chumay? Do you have any questions to be posed to Mr. Chumay? Je vous en prie. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas de questions à poser à Mr. Chumay. I have no questions for Mr. Chumay.
Yes, uh, President, I would appreciate um, locating oui, on the um, uh, aerial photograph of um, S21 uh, precisely where uh, Chum Mai's workshop was during the period that he was working there as a mechanic. Um, I'm wondering if the prosecutors Et have the reference to that uh, aerial photograph, please. Yes, Your Honor, we've called it, called it up Monsieur now, and we ask that it be switched to our screens. Oui. Is it uh, acceptable to ask for it to be switched Madame to the prosecutor's screen? Judge Cartwright, Mr. President, can we make a image of the image of the co-procureur on the screen? The President, the AB unit, can you switch? Demande au service the technique de faire apparaître Thank you. Uh, Chum Mai, you Merci, have Chum Mai. said that you were working in a workshop as a mechanic, and it was near the kitchen or part of the kitchen. Can you tell us exactly where that workshop was by looking at this photograph which has been taken from the air? First of all, do you recognize the buildings, the way they are laid out in that photograph? Your Honor, all these buildings are the actual reflection of the situation, oui, but there was actually a rear gate. Je le reconnais, mais il y avait une, uh, now un there are a lot of uh, flats. Il y a là de Usually, at the exit, there was a long building with Avant, a corrugated metal roof. Un long bâtiment avec un toit en First, ondulé. camera saw Et camera put saw all the food supplied into one side, and then there was also a sewing machine côté, at that location, and also a pile of a lot of clothes enfin, y avait were along that uh, building, and next there was a kitchen côté, with those large cooking pans for gruel. And gruel. after that, that was a Takung's location. It's a wood workshop for building and fixing chairs and tables. And next there would be a rabbit dressing uh, ground and then a pig pen to the south. Et une porcherie vers le sud. And a little bit to the west, there was a, a big tree. Il y avait un grand arbre. And that was the location where dead bodies were carried behind my bags to be buried under that big tree. And when I worked in my workshop, I was facing that Moi, big tree, and Mr. Pudge was arbre, working nearby as well. So they dug the pit under the big tree and they buried the dead bodies. I don't know how many dead bodies there, but for the instant that I saw, I saw three dead bodies. They were carried in the corrugated zinc plate. It's, it's like a straight. And those dead bodies were buried under that big tree. However, now that big tree was gone. Thank you. Is the building that Just you've described shown on this photograph? Thank 
จิมเรียบซาลุกใส่มือจุมเมจอนเออ from what I can see it's hard to say anything because at that time the building that building had no walls there was only a roof on that building it was not in the horizontal formation When you talk about the rear entrance, where the um, where this uh, roof line was, was that behind blocks B and C? I, I, it's hard for me to recognize the, the building B or C, but if you talk about the east or the west, then yes, I, I probably can say it better. It, it was actually behind those two buildings. Well, if you look at the top right of this uh, photograph, where the, um, the little circle is, is highlighting You can see that north to the right and west to the top of the picture. Can you see that? Yes, I saw that direction. The building was to the west of that building. The building you have described as really just being a roof attached to a fence was behind B and C. Is that right? On the western boundary. John, it was not attached to the fence. Le bâtiment n'était pas adjacent à la clôture. From that fence, there was a large ground. Il y avait encore ground entre le bâtiment et la clôture. And after passing that large ground, then there will be the kitchen and my workshop. Il fallait passer, c'est traverser cet espace pour parvenir aux cuisines et à mon atelier. And if we went across further to the top, Et si on va vers le haut that would be photo, the other building. So it, that building was not attached to the fence near these two uh, buildings. On arrive à But the building was behind B and C, to the west of B and C. Is Je that correct? Bien, ce bâtiment dont vous parlez se trouvait tout près des bâtiments B et C que l'on voit sur la photo, côté ouest. C'est exact. Yes, it's it's clearly that the building was to the la to the west of these oui, two oui. buildings. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Um, thank you. That, Your Honour, that seems to clarify the matter. There is a when you look on the screen, and this is D forty five one one. You can see the blue dot um, at the bottom of the screen. And that shows the photograph from a different angle, but it, it sounds like it's uh, being clarified. Um, Your Honours, in relation to the, the Vietnamese video, which uh, Your Honours are still determining uh, the, admissibil the, uh, the admissibility of, that video, um, I believe, shows this workshop, shows the pile of clothes, and so it shows the very things that um, uh, Mr. Chum May is referring to. So either that could be shown now, or alternatively, I would just ask that that uh, be remembered when looking at that particular video, the, the way he's described it. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. I think the President made it clear yesterday that we have still to determine that issue. Um, I have no further questions of this witness. Thank you. Pour le reste, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser aux témoins. Je vous remercie. Le président. Le président Tchèslovène. Juge Lavergne.
the president. Mr. Kang Kek Yew. The president, Mr. Kang Kek Yew. What has been said by Chung Mei regarding the likely location of the workshop and the kitchen within the S21 compound. It was to the upper part of the photo. It means it was to the west of building B and C, and there was a fair distance from those two buildings. So there was a large ground in between those two buildings and the workshop. Thus, his description reflects the actual Location of the kitchen and the workshop. Les lieux d'emplacement de la des cuisines et de l'atelier. Mr. President. L'accusé. The description of brother May is correct. May est exact. The workshop building where brother May worked was the former tool selling high school. I went into that building for one time for about two minutes to see how people build the cases for ammunition storage. And that the prosecutor Tang Sen and Roma also showed me the photo. So actually, formally, it was the school building, and it is true that it was to the west of these two buildings. À l'ouest des bâtiments BSC. Le président. The international co-prosecutor requested. Le co-procureur international. Yesterday, by Robert Petri regarding the video clip, and we deferred the decision on that until an appropriate time when a decision can be made. After our discussion, so actually on last Friday we discussed the remaining issues and made some decisions on certain issues, but that issue and a few other issues are yet to be decided, so we defer the matter till, until further notice. And now the hearing of the testimony of Chung uh, Mei, the survivor of the S21 Security Office has come to an end. Therefore, the Chamber will adjourn today's hearing. The Chamber will resume at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning by hearing the testimony of another survivor as scheduled Selon le by the chamber and la which chambre, have been informed to the public and the parties already. Court officer, can you arrange for Uncle Jumai to return to his residence? And the security officer, take the accused back to the detention de facility de and bring him back tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.